It's August 30th, 2023. Um, I just want to anchor myself in time and space. I'm in that pattern country territory. I don't know. They've always called it a country in the United States of America. My forefathers or ancestors of the monetary system look like this. These are the symbols of United States organization. And then it says Federal Reserve note. And then that's a picture of the U.S. Treasury. So this is the monetary system where I am at the moment. Um, forefather of space before me is this gentleman, one of them, with Godspeed, just because I was on the phone call for Bible study today with a local father uh, in the local uh, Zion um, respectable structure that I can get to. Um, we had an interesting conversation about, um, some of the local ongoings. Then, um, now I'm in hyperspace because I'm online, but I'm still grounded in the physical world. And here's where my conversation takes a really frightening turn of events. Um, while I have all of these symbols and they are real, a lot of people rely on them. They have structure, they have building. Um, I just was with my mother who went online to purchase a pair of pants for my son. Uh, we went to the local store first in order for local retail to gain our taxable income, the economy, to support the local economy, which I thought is how societal and community was set up uh, for abundance and for renewal and for the way that the system works locally. Um, but they did not have the size nor the colors that uh, or the material that was acceptable. So she went online to supplement. She bought some locally, but there was not enough in his size. So then she was forced online. She went online to jcpenny.com. Uh, I'm in the state of New York and there's the state of New Jersey and the state of Connecticut just around us. Um, while Jersey on the, on the television said that they were not accepting sales tax during the school back to school week, New York has not made that announcement. So I'm under the assumption that we still owe taxes. Um, now this is where reporting gets frightening for me because I've been attacked by the local police coming into the house and removing me in handcuffs and putting me in a jail cell and not telling me why. Um, and also they've removed me and put me in a medical facility without saying why. Um, so, but there are things going on that need to be addressed. Um, so this online last screen mentions mentions a charity about doctors without borders they're the type of outfit that thoroughly frighten me their 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 people frighten me they seem to have no borders no boundaries and no care in the world to disrupt a colony of law abiding peaceful citizens that just want to stay in their homes and have families and have future generations of kids growing up together. I mean, it's been completely disrupted in New York. I don't know why. And this type of mentality of doctors that go into the most underdeveloped nations and then want for some reason to help move those populations into somebody's backyard that is not expecting these unexpected guests it gets goes into a really dark conversation for which i don't really feel like going into at the moment 
but it's part of a larger existential problem I'm experiencing at the moment. Um, and so there's that. Um, and then there's this, um, I have to go to the photo gallery of the actual, we went to purchase it. She was using her regular JC Penney's card. And then at the end, the last screen, then the last screen, um, her pay screen, I took a snapshot of it because it did not collect taxes. It says tax zero. Here. And that's on the JC Pennies. So I took a photo of it. I have it. I then called the FBI office. Um, I realized it, even in like John Glenn, <laughs> his birthday at like one of the sky, if he's like a sky God or I mean, there's one God we trust in. That's what it says. And then there's this like in God we trust on the back of here. Um, but he was one of the seven, uh, the friendships. So, um, I don't know. He looked like a good reference perhaps for this. Cause that's what I expect on the other end of like something that's relatable to him, um, as like a great protector of our genetic appearance on this planet. So, um, or something along those lines, especially for this level of conversation, uh, in all seriousness. So I, uh, call in the 718 area code, um, where there used to be a local, regional and long distance, and then an international carrier. Uh, I would expect somebody at this level of engineering would probably know far more superior intelligence than myself uh, that I go on that assumption daily. Um, so um, and that's in hierarchy of respectful beings. So, um, I'm in 718 area code still. I used my cell phone, which is a 929 area code. Not sure what that's, but the local long distance and uh, regional carriers no longer appear on a phone bill. It's now just one billing system, which is another problem about people without borders and access to our information without us knowing the full story or event. Um, so there's that. I call this 718 FBI office. Again, I'm usually when I use a telephone, I'm under the assumption that the person on the other end at the FBI looks like family of the Federal Reserve children, because it's the FBI for the Federation, for the federal, even at interplanetary like service, IPS, I'm still expecting visually correct FBI agents to be answering the phones for the simple fact of, I currently call the Q Gardens office. I can't verify who's answering the phone. Um, the original phone number that I call has a voice that does not even sound American, uh, or any variation of American. Um, but I don't know who programmed the phones and has access to phone capture at the FBI while I'm, and then who's taking those leads in order to like effectuate some kind of investigation, which I don't know if there's profit to it. Um, so all of these things in the back of my mind are concerns. Um, so I'm alerting this woman who I get a live person on the phone. I'm not sure if she's actually in the field office of the FBI in Kew Gardens, or if she's in some foreign country that perhaps does not go by the same laws as the United States of America with federal family and federal agents of this genetic assortment. So I'm trying to ask and report. Um, I don't know if the phone line's recorded. I don't have access to it. I don't know how the system works. So 
she tells me that not to worry about it because I want to report it that I don't want to fall back on my mom that my mom might be like some form of tax evasion. I'm like, JC Penny, we went there, we put our address in, we're in New York. Nothing on the television alerted me that we were sales tax free this week. I was like, but they didn't collect tax. So I don't know if that's like, again, I don't want to get in trouble for tax evasion. And she's like, no, it wouldn't be you. It would actually be the website that would get in trouble. And I'm like, right again, but like, is that an American, I thought is that that's an American based corporation, isn't it? Like, again, I don't really know the ins and the outs of even that, but there's a lot of things in my area that's gone out. And I don't know if these are part of something. I've heard these words on television, like corporate espionage. I'm like, I don't really know what that means, but it seems like all these tricks of the trade that some of these things that have gone on that really just wound up poisoning the system for everybody. Um, so like tax collection and where is that money being funneled to in electronic funds since now they've pretty much closed the retail or they're in the process of closing. I mean, the retail sector is not what it used to be. Uh, and they're trying to move everything to an electronic system with electronic funding, which causes a problem at the paper foundation and the respect and the handshake of community, of social, of whichever. So I'm concerned because one, the representatives at the FBI did not sound like Federal Reserve, no children. Not that I can verify that, but they can't verify to me that they're who I should be reporting to. Um, and I don't want to have distrust of the system, but I'm concerned about some of the representatives that the television has been alerting. Um, then there goes to the U S part of America. And I like, again, the woman on the phone, if I'm under the assumption that she really is who she says she is, and she's the right person, tell, brushes me off and tells me not to worry about it, it would fall on J.C. Penny, not on my mom. And on one hand, that makes me feel slightly comfortable. But on the other hand, it opens up other problems of um, why it like, why are, why does it look like on television that there are multiple federations working at a federal level inside the United States of America. That's concerning to me. Um, and then it's, if they're telling me not to worry about these cyber crimes at that level, because it falls on the website, well, then who are these website administrators and builders and who's putting this together? Are these government contracted? What governments? And are these governments that are adversarial to the United States of America? Are they ones that are trying to siphon money off and build some underdeveloped, impoverished area and doesn't really care what happens to the safety, security, national, federal, or otherwise of the children inside the continental United States? Like all of these things that like, come up for me, like I want to be trustful, but it, the humans in humankind have not really given me any reason to be trustful of them. So um, that's concerning because I don't want to not have faith in the system or in the people, um, but I have been hurt more times. Like I've woken up in the wrong situation more times than I would like to put a number on a number line. Like I am just completely off where I should have been. Um, and there's really no like input data wise as to what could possibly be going on. But I see these changes and it looks like multiple federations are now trying to exist. And I mean, like, where's my job at the federal reserve or the federal bureau? Like, where is that job offer? Why are they employing at the Federal Bureau, uh, 
some other federation or what could be considered some other federation's children. Like again, like this is like this really sloppy line of I don't know how to explain it, but there's some real serious funding issues and then like circulation of fund and then it goes into national security. Um, then it goes into territorial and it's all taking place in hyperspace, which I'm trying to anchor myself into my signs and symbols for what exists at this time for where I'm making a note of it and noting where my concerns are. Um, there's no phone number for this IC3. I don't know why. Um... But I also at this time am having trouble with, um, I put in for, I don't even think I'm, I'm physically um, capable at this point because I have some fatty tumors growing um, that the doctors are not helping me with. I don't know why they're not giving me the appropriate course of like therapeutic medications for, so I can use my muscles in the correct um, function. But again, that's those doctors without borders and what's entering our AMA. Um, and then how are they treating what's left here? Um, so again, it goes into like this whole bunch of conversations that I really don't want to have on open public broadcast, but it is things that I've noticed. It's ways I've been treated by whatever actually has jobs, actually has money, and actually made its way here and is now in some capacity thinking it has a voice or more of a vote than myself. Um, so I'm just making a documentation on this of, I don't know why in New York, JC Penney is not collecting sales tax. I don't know why the local FBI office is telling me not to worry about it. I don't know if that's somebody trying to change the tax code, somebody trying to tax evade. I don't know whose responsibility or shoulders it falls on uh, reporting. I don't know what the correct chain of command is or what the correct, I mean, this is my flag. So running it up my flagpole, I don't know what's on the receiving end of that. Um, so there are some real serious issues, not only with telephonics, um, it's FAA, it's FTC, it's FCC, then it's the local field offices of, I can't, I, I don't know how to go in there and verify. Um, I don't know who any of them are. I don't know if then I get myself into some tangle with some larger organization and then putting in a lead online for national guard it goes to something that does not sound like it looks like this bloodline and it does not sound like it's part of his bloodline i don't know what bloodline is collecting these national guard um inquiries for intelligent officers from my local Bayside U.S. Post area. I don't know if that's part of another hijack scheme of whatever's going on. Um, but the longer this goes on, it seems the worse it's getting, the more polluted, the more commingled. I mean, when you speak to a human and you ask them like to verify simple data, like, would you co-mingle funds between these two? What up? They'd say, no, if you need to keep something sterile, why would you co-mingle funds? Well, I, again, I don't understand like the offshore banking part of SEC, but, um, I did hold a series seven license in New York. So that's just for fundamental like vocabulary. Um, it's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Keller is earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken and it's Bayside station, Bayside, New York, one, one, three, six, one. I don't know what the appropriate steps are. That's really my conclusion at this point. Um, I don't know why they would constantly try to commingle other countrymen into federal business. 
or into U.S. business. I'm not real sure, like, domestically, um, why they're not keeping cleaner house um, in order to, I mean, like, again, today on the call it was talking about profits, but there's two different spellings of profits and they mean two totally different things. Um, so I'm just, I'm making a note to protect myself from whatever is going on. Um, and for whatever is left with children here, because this is just, I mean, those taxes are collected and they're supposed to be recycled back into this like state into, but there's also a whole lot of, um, unexplained newcomers that are just being shipped here and dropped off. I don't know why. Um, that's like commingling genetics in colony. It seems more of an invasive maneuver. Um, don't know why that's happening either, but it's, um, concerning. At an A-I-G-H-H-C-G-H at an H-E-L-A level.